What's up beta, it's TKF here, I have another video for you guys, I know I didn't post one too long ago, and I'm actually bringing you a battle against the same opponent, which is going to be Matt, but there is a reason behind it, it was a really good battle, some really nice predictions going on, and uh, it was you, you as well, so I know it's kind of some under tiered stuff going on, kind of some over tiered stuff, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So I'm going to leave with my Lucario, predicting him to leave with his Volbeat, and I'm going to predict him to switch, so I'm actually going to make a double switch right off the bat, which was kind of a ballsy play, as you'll see, because a lot of things could go wrong. But uh, turns out I do get the prediction right. He's going to go into his Haunter, and I opt to go back into Flygon. Well, go into Flygon. And uh, I know I'm going to be able to right speed right here, so I'm just going to go for the Dragon Claw. Maybe try and get him to think that I'm banded or something, but uh, it doesn't take it out, which kind of sucks. So he's going to go for the Shadow Ball. Although I am faster than him, so I know I can easily finish him off again. And you know, if he wasn't paying attention to my item, then he might have thought I was choice in some way. And that would have been great for me, because I could have bluffed it throughout the battle, and uh, that would have paid off. But... Unfortunately, obviously, you see the life orb recoil, but I managed to take down the Haunter now, which is great. And he's going to go ahead and switch in his Volby, as uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch out now, predicting the uh, Tail Glow, because I have seen the set before. So I'm going to Blastoise. He does indeed go for the Tail Glow, just knowing that I can't really do anything to him, or he knows he's going to be able to live at least one hit. So he's going to get up that first Tail Glow, and he's going to be able to outspeed me. Now, this was a crucial play. I predicted him to go for another Tail Glow. If I didn't, you'll see later on that it really would have cost me. So I go for the Scold right here, just kind of fishing for that burn, see if I can pick it up. Unfortunately, I don't, and it's not quite a two-hit KO either, which really, really sucks. So I'm going to switch from Blastoise now into my Galvantula, and uh, I'm predicting the Baton Pass into Gorbis. Now, I know upon seeing my Galvantula, he's not going to want to go into Gorbis, so that's great for me that I managed to force him into another poke. He's going to be forced to go into a Shaman because he thinks that's what he can handle it best, I guess, but I actually have the Stab Bug Buzz, and I am going to be Specs as well, so that's going to be a tick down that Shaman. I'm not really too sure how well that Shaman could have taken. I think that might have been min damage, personally, but... Uh, sorry, Max, but yeah, who knows. So he's going to go into Victini right now. It's going to force me to switch into my Blastoise because I really don't want to fodder off any of the, uh, yeah, anything at this point because it is quite early game. So I'm going to go into Blastoise just to scout what kind of Victini he is. He does reveal right here is going to be the physical variant with V Create. And that's fine. It's not, it would have been better if he was special just because I do actually carry the Mirror Coat on this Blastoise, which would have really screwed me over if I had misplayed it earlier, but you know, I didn't, so that's great. So now he's going to go into Gorbis. I am predicting him to Shell Smash right here, so I'm just going to go for the Scold because uh, I really don't want to switch into any, uh, switch anything into this Shell Smash. So uh, he does come in and, sorry, now I know obviously he's in. So I'm going to switch into Straptor, you know, got Fizz because uh, Fizzy Stardust doing his thing. And I'm going to try and bluff the Choice Scarf because I know um, a, a he's not going to appreciate a Brave Bird, especially not from a Reckless Raptor. And uh, he did know previously that I was using a Reckless Raptor, so that's fine. So uh, right here, I'm going to bluff the Scarf. Unfortunately for me, it doesn't pay off and he is just going to be able to go for the Ice Beam. Um, that really, really sucks because I really could have used this thing later on in the game. But uh, he is going to be able to take me out with that Ice Beam, which really sucks. I'd, well, it was obviously going to kill, but I really, really thought we would have switched out there, but I guess not. So I'm going to go into Blastoise right now, knowing he's not going to want to switch because he does have the Shell Smash, and I know he's going to want to attack me with a uh, non-stab move, so I know I'm going to be able to take it. And uh, I'll go for that Mirror Coat. It's going to retaliate with double the damage that Shadow Ball caused to me, which is great because I'm going to be able to knock down that Gorbis. And, uh, you know, my Blastoise is still out here looking good. So uh, that's absolutely great for me. So, I really want to run Rain Dish, but, you know, there's really no point in UU just because there's no weather and whatnot, really. So, uh, yeah, in comes Victini. I'm just going to go for the uh, for the Aqua Jet right here. I am kind of mixed. I don't have any investment in anything uh, other than HP in both defenses. But I do have the Scold to fish for the Burn and the Aqua Jet just for the extra priority on my team. You never know when it come in handy. So, uh, I'm, he goes for a Zen Headbutt right there, predicting my Galvantula switch in. But I'm not going to switch at this point just because I know Blastoise can deal some super effective damage. And then, uh, you know, just deal with it later. So, uh, I'm going to go to Flygon right now just because I know, um, well, I'm thinking I can take a Zen Headbutt from here. I'm not really sure as to why I thought that, but I did. And, of course, it is Stab, so that's going to be to take me out. Kind of a foolish train of thought right there. Nonetheless, it's not the way now. So, I'm, yeah, I am just going to go into my Gavantula right now. It's going to be a force to switch. And he goes into Volby, and uh, I knew he was going to switch into it. But, you know, I just figure why not just go for the Thunder. It is my strongest Stab move. And I really don't see, you know, what Volbeat could do. So, I'm going to be able to take that thing down anyway. In comes Victini. I could have done some uh, fancy switch work right here, but there really was no point. Just, it would have cost me because, you know, Victini, this Victini in particular, scarfed. And uh, that just would not have been good because nothing wants to take a V-Create. So, I am going to have to fodder off my Galvantula here. I could, like I said, I could have switched, but I really didn't see it in my best interest. So, uh, plus I know I have Lucario still with uh, the priority, so I'm kind of banking on that at the moment. 
So that's going to go down. I'm going to go into Cena. Hello, everyone. My name's Cena Anners. And I'm going to go near the king. Don't want to get copyrighted for that. And uh, he's going to be forced to switch just because, uh, you know, I do have the earth power. And I can't afford not to risk. Uh, I can't afford to risk anything. So I do just go for it. Unfortunately, he brings in his Delibird Bird. And he goes for the Ice Shard. Thank God he misses due to Hustle, which is great because this is a banded Hustle Delibird Bird set. I'm going to fire off the flamethrower. I'm really not sure how much this mattered, but I do get the crit right here. That kind of sucks. I do apologize if that did matter, but it is uh, sheer force, life orb boosted and whatnot. Although it isn't stab. But anyway, it's going to bring this Victina right now. I've got to take a V-Create to the face because, you know, I don't want anything else to take it. Last poke after this is Lucario, and he's going to be weak to fire. So obviously that would not have been my best play. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch into that. So that sucks. So Nanos goes down. I'm sorry to you, Nanos. I'm really sorry I didn't do anything. But I'm going to go into Luke right now, which is my real name, which is sweet. I go for the E speed, and I'm like, the game is mine. Minus one defense, you know, got max attack. It doesn't kill. And I'm like, why? No. And uh, yeah, turns out I actually forgot to put IVs on my Lucario. So wah, wah, wah. I fail, pretty much. And uh, yeah, I lose. So Lucario's going to go down right there, and that is going to be the game. So Matt's going to take this game. It was a very, very narrow 1 0 on his part. If I had a put IV investment into this Lucario, I'm pretty sure that E-Speed would have taken out with some form of min or max damage. So that kind of sucks for me. That's the pretty much the only time I've ever made that kind of mistake. I was really bummed out I did make that mistake because uh, it, I only really found out when I lost the battle and realized Lucario had to go. So I go to Pokesav, go to change it, and uh, I go to make it a Gastrodon. I see there's no IVs, and I was like, wow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this, guys. Please uh, obviously comment, like, sub, and do all of your good stuff to the beta. Great channel supporting the community. At least you guys could do is uh, show some gratitude, I guess, you know, show some appreciation. Come check me out if you want. Uh, I Facebook, Twitter, links me in, in the description if possible. I'm not really too sure on that, but come and visit my channel, guys. I'm sure you'll like it there. Good quality iterations and all of that good stuff. Anyway, thanks for having me. See you guys later. Touche.